Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing another top. It's usually top 10, but I have seven this time. And this time we're going to be talking about opaque nail polish glitters. If you guys want to see the polishes that I chose, then just keep watching. I thought this was going to be really easy, but it was kind of difficult. Um, I chose my favorite glitters that can be opaque, that can become op opaque, and what I wanted were seven glitters, or what I wanted to find were glitters that were larger glitters, not micro glitters, um, because that's easier. So some of these are smaller, but they're not micro at all. I wanted big, chunky, tacky glitters that can be toppers, but can also be built up to opacity. So that's what I chose. If you guys um, don't like glitter, I'm sorry. But if you do, then you'll be excited. So we're just going to get right into it. The first one that I'm going to talk about is from Different Dimension. This is Topaz 2.0. This is from the uh, YWP Different Dimension collab. And this is a rose gold glitter and a pink jelly base. That was another thing. I I wanted all polishes and clear bases, but there are two that have tinted bases, but I love them so much I just had to talk about them. So this is Topaz 2.0. It's a really beautiful rose gold um, holographic glitter. This one gets opaque in two coats. You might need a third depending on the length of your nails and application, but two to three and this one is opaque and it's it's just stunning in the sun and oh it's just really beautiful i love rose gold anything so when i saw this i was like oh yep. the next one is from kb shimmer and this is called two pop to handle and this is a blue and red holographic hex glitter in a purple jelly base and this i don't know if you can suck at this anymore I'm sorry if you can't. Some of these you might not be able to because I feel like glitters like this were sort of happening right when I first started getting into indies. Mainstream brands really don't do glitters like this. A lot of these are older. Some of them might not be available anymore, so I'm sorry. But if you've been around the nail polish world for a while, you may have these. And they're worth uh, pulling out and uh, putting on your nails if you do have them. So this is too popped up handle. It does dry slightly textured, so you will need a good thick top coat. All of these will need a good thick top coat, actually. It's not textured, but there's just so much glitter in here that it's, it, it feels textured. But this is actually opaque in two coats. It is a jelly formula, but a, a jelly glitter. But because there's so much glitter in here, it covers really nicely. I love this. I love this any time of the year, but especially when there's any sort of tan on your fingers. I have another from KB Shimmer because KB Shimmer does really great glitters. And this is a polish that, I think there was a blogger collection that they did a few years ago. I can't remember when. And it was like a Christmas collection. Uh, this is called Sand in My Stocking and it is the Polishaholic and KB Shimmer color. And I love this. This looks like a beach. Can I have a banana snacky snack? <laughs> yes, you can. Can you reach it? No. Oh, okay. I need to get the stool. Oh, okay. I love this. It's a gold glitter with orange and teal and some white micro glitters in here. I love this. This is one of my favorite KB shimmers of all time. I love this so much. This one is another that is opaque in two. You might need to dab a few little spaces in for the third coat, but it's not like really a third coat. I love this so much. Next is a super old polish. This is from Crow's Toes and it's called Absalom, Your Potions Master. If you've been around the indies for a while, like you remember this. This is a blue, orange, green, silver, there's some black bar glitter in there. This is just a really great tacky, bold, kind of obnoxious glitter. These are all going to be like two coats of top coat, a thick top coat. Uh, this is another that's opaque in two, 
but you might need to dab some little spaces in there. But it's totally worth it because it's so awesome and tacky and I love these colors together. And it's just, it's just really awesome. I should have mentioned in the beginning, all of my swatches, my swatch pictures, I have super short nails because I tore a bunch of nails. So they're all super short. The next one is from Glitter Days and this is called Rainbow Bridge and this is a rainbow um, glitter. It's got a ton of glitter in here. There's some stars in here. Purple, orange, blue, yellow. I don't like that. There's some little greens. Yeah, there's just everything in here. This is another opaque in two coats. And this is, this is, if you want 100%, I can't see any part of my nail opacity. You might need to dab a little bit for the third. But otherwise, this is a pretty solid two coater. Um, mine is a little bit older, so it is even thicker. It's a pretty solid two-coater. This is from China Glaze, and this is called Pizzazz. And this is a silver, purple, teal, light green. I think there's some little... I don't think there's orange in there. It's just the purple reflecting. But these are assorted hexes, and this is a really cool polish. There's not a ton of mainstream polishes like this as far as I know, there's starting to be more. For a while, mainstream polishes just, mainstream brands just didn't do polishes like this. This is another two coater, and I think this is from a Christmas collection, like two, maybe three years ago. It's It's been a while, but I think you would still get this probably on eBay or Amazon. So what are your favorite opaque glitters? Did I miss any? I mean, I know I missed some. But let me know what your favorite opaque glitters are. And if you guys have any questions or video suggestions, leave them down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video.